So the general question is, how come that we are now living in time in what they call populism or whatever you want to call it, and more and more autocratic regimes, why is that now, quote unquote, more or less becoming the new rule uh, instead of you know, old-fashioned liberal democracy based on liberal values? Uh, I think I would want to ask the question whether, whether we, uh, maybe in a submerged sense, but nonetheless in a real sense, uh, many people, certainly many people in the West and the other parts of the world, whether, not whether we accept right now the whole package called liberal democracy, but do we accept core moral principles yes. on which the no. liberal democracy is built, and core moral principles on which it is built are two. That is, one is the freedom of conscience, and, that, and the other one is equal dignity of every, every person and equal wo voice mm -hmm. in running the public affairs. And it would seem to me that although it seems that we are in the process of anti-democratization, so to speak, in the world today, nonetheless, for many people, these two core or three core principles, they remain stable. And I think I would want to build upon these principles and strengthen so that we can okay. build the kind of institutions okay. that are appropriate to local situations, but that embody these two principles. We'll have plurality, me, then we'll have uh, the ability something. to live together as different. Let me say something, the way I see it. You know, Russia is not a liberal democracy. And though it has uh, certain people, uh, certain, I would say, virtual community of those who mm, say that they share these uh, liberal democratic principles, but actually they do not because they have their own little dictatorship and you cannot trust them in no way. Now, what happens? Um, Russia is an autocratic uh, state always has been, always. It, ne it was never interrupted by any democracy at all. So you have to take that into consideration, talking about this country. It's the same thing as uh, with many uh, Middle Eastern uh, countries, governments, they are based on different principles which Americans who enter the country did not understand. They may have been you know, horrible in many ways, but you should not... Uh, break these principles or suggest some Western approach, you know, to Iraq or whatever. Uh, otherwise, you get what you get. Now, about Russia. Um, the way there are people uh, in Russia who are not being Christians, no, but uh, having this really uh, loving hearts understand that uh, some uh, huge pro uh, problems should be dealt with. One of them is um, mm, no doctors and no hospitals for uh, children with oncology, right? So in order to build these hospitals out of nowhere, the government doesn't want to listen about it, doesn't want to hear. Uh, there was a woman, an actress, Chulpan Hamatova is her name, uh, she couldn't stand it, she couldn't see it. She had some money of her own, and um, she was very loved by people. She's a good actress and a very nice person. She, was, she started this program trying to make the government uh, build this uh, huge hospital for children with oncological diseases. And in order to get some uh, money to, to fundraise, she... Um, went as far as to meet Putin, and he was, because no one wanted actually to say, yes, finally, here's my signature. Uh, all money that was promised was somewhere, disappeared quickly. There were many marathons, fundraising marathons, but money did disappear. So she needed a support, a real solid support. So she went um, as far as to meet Putin, and he uh, helped her. So the hospital with all doctors, everything was built. Now this liberal public started hating Chulpan. They hated her so much, they just sh shamed her. Uh, they said all kind of dirty things about her because she dared you know, to contact Putin. And Putin is bad, and Putin is a dictator, so uh, to hell with your you know, ill children. The moral principles are much more important for them. This is one 
extreme case. And another one is right now, these days, yesterday I read more news about it, there is another woman, uh, Anna Federmesser. Uh, she and her mother, her late mother, uh, were uh, the founders um, of the hospices for uh, terminally ill, for people who are terminally ill, because these people, they didn't get uh, any relief, they couldn't get painkillers, nothing like that. They just stayed in their uh, apartments in horrible pain. They did a great work and they built hospices all around uh, the cities. And they uh, saved um, the, this pain and the, these last, um, you know, sufferings for many people. And also she went as... Uh, High as far as first the mayor of uh, Moscow, whom everyone hates for many reasons, and then up to Putin. So the last I saw yesterday was her photo. She and Putin, they sit in front of each other and are uh, discussing things. Uh, when I see these photos, I know that uh, the people who, and uh, it may be me tomorrow, you know, who will uh, suffer from this incruciating pain with no way out, because the only way out is dying. You know, she's, she's saving their people. You cannot imagine the wave of hatred that this liberal public, uh, you know, uh, had pushed against her. It's like a tsunami. So, um, to, to hell with these people who have moral principles. I prefer staying with those who have this heart you know, going to children and old people, they but, gain but, nothing. Tanya, but, but this, same, this same Putin has also been responsible for extraordinary cruelty. Yes. I well, mean, well, you're, you're giving instances not, of benevolent despotism. Right, no, yeah, uh, I know. The thing is that this, uh, this cruelty would have happened anyway. Sure, sure. This is, what look, my, I, my, my idea yeah, is that's how this type of countries are, uh, how they are run, the how they are The thing the discussion made. lacks is historical perspective. I mean, liberal democracy is what, 100, 150 years old? Probably not 200 years old. And it is a kind of miracle that it ever came into existence. Good. Um, and we one don't of the have things... One. We what, don't no, have wait, wait. One. But one of the things you learn about all forms of progress is that progress is never linear, and it's no. never inevitable, and it's never irreversible. So that the struggle it's, there will never come a time when the whole world will be once and for all liberal democratic. It's like the beginning of that film, Mr. Incredible, when they're interviewing and they, they, they say to him, aren't you tired of rescuing people? And he says, yeah, I saved the world, but the world just won't stay saved. I mean, but, but, you know. But those liber th those right. principles of which I spoke earlier are centuries old. Oh, so they are. I, I, I they are, but they the have to take political form because they have to have agreed. something to do with how political power agreed. relates to them. Yeah. Right, but uh, my point is, you are absolutely right. My point is, uh, Russia is not a liberal democracy. Right. It's very, very far from it. Uh, why doesn't it, um, you know, try to pick up this, uh, uh, you know, to, to have America as a model for different reasons, but while it doesn't happen, those who, uh, the, the, the public, you know, the community, which uh, could have been uh, uh, a community of people who would somehow help transfer the principles of liberal democracy to Russia, they spend their time on hatred, on hatred towards those who are doing something. Mm -hmm. not being Christians in These both cases. So do you think that democracy is not a universal concept? Because um, this is what people say about Muslim societies, I'm, that they're I, just not... I'm, I think, I, I'm not sure, but I think that Russia is a hybrid uh, society mm -hmm. in this respect, uh, because the idea of democracy is not completely rejected, you know, in Russia. The, the, the society is lose in this way, in many ways, religiously lose, yeah. um, in many other ways. And it is rather, 
But would you have considered it good if Russia became a liberal democracy? It will not. I, it will not, not become a liberal democracy. No. A conservative democracy. What is uh, liberal yeah. democracy? Anyway? I, I, don't, I don't know. But I, when there were efforts of establishing uh, democracy in early 90s, then uh, people um, chose, for example, the governors of the city, the mayors, from the bandits. Because these bandits, they already uh, stole, killed enough people and stole enough money to give people promises. And people, ah, promise? Okay, this is how democracy worked. They were very democratic. It was very democratic wow. procedures. Yeah. <laughs> and so it happened once, and then a second time, and then a third time. Yeah. And of course, when you see it, and you think, okay, the, these people, they're really crazy, and we'll lose everything. And these people will starve. Let's just go around these principles. So you start going around these principles and you end up with uh, autocracy. Okay.